Josh Allen. You know we were we had to talk about him. Of course we're going to do this. He's going to get traded. Yeah, no, I kidding. agree. No, he's yeah, he's not he's not going to get traded, guys. But I think Mitchell Trubisky will be. I think some teams are going to be a quarterback injury away from calling Brandon Bean up and asking about Trubisky because the reason why I like. The Trubisky signing in the first place is because he's a reasonable, serviceable starter in the NFL, and I don't think he got a good shakedown in Chicago. He's also only here for a year, so why not get value for him if it's on the table, right? The only backfire to trading away, away Trubisky is that what are we going to do if Josh goes down? Davis Webb? Jake Fromm? Like, the Bills legit probably have one of the strongest quarterback rooms, if not the strongest quarterback rooms in the NFL. So if we trade away Trubisky, we go from, like, one of the top-tier quarterback rooms to, like, middle to, like, low real quick. So the value's got to be there. But I think there's a quarterback injury away from being getting that call. So this is, uh, again, where I'm glad I had a couple extras. Um, so I also I also have Mitch Trubisky getting traded. Um, so for me, this has to be the right offer. Um, when, when teams have a quarterback go down and they panic a little bit, that's, you know, it's the most important position on the field. You know, if you don't have, if you don't have serviceable quarterback play, you're not going anywhere. You're just spinning the tires. Um, so I see a quarterback going down somewhere and then, you know, Brandon Bean taking into account everything you just said, you know, what are we going to do at backup quarterback, blah, blah, blah. But somebody offers like a third or a fourth round pick for him. And you know how Bean loves those third and fourth round picks. Ooh. And then Ooh. he he goes to the free agent market and sees who he, who he might be able to get that might be a, a better backup than Jake Fromm or Davis Webb. Um, but I think that's a very realistic situation and, you know, for this exercise, I want to assume looking at the full season that Josh Allen's healthy the whole season anyways. Um, so, you know, if we can get a guy that we signed to a one year, what was it like $3 million deal and flip that contract into even say a fourth round pick, you know. I think, wait, I think he got him for like two, two and a half mil. Yeah, a bag of peanuts, or something like that. Yeah, yeah. so it was real low. So if you're, I mean, it's also kind of Mitch Trubisky came in to kind of reboot his career, anyways. So it also ends up being, you know, a win win if something like that happens. You know, if we can get some draft capital out of it, and and I don't know that. Andy Dalton's Andy Dalton's on a team right now, but say you could bring in somebody like him, and and that's your backup going forward. I mean, we did it with Matt Barkley for the last three years, so yeah. On a side note, I don't know if Matt Barkley got signed anywhere, so we could always hit up Matt Barkley. Getting the band back together, Matt. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Like, hey Trubisky, we we just flipped you. Hey Matt. Uh, it, it. It's Brandon here. You want to come back? We mostly want you to be a coach again. 